John, welcome to the Big Apple. It's a big day mm -hmm. Thank for you. you. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, yeah, it's a very yeah. important day. And, and you're from a, a small village in the Basque region of Spain, and you, you come uh, to Arizona State. You, you don't speak a whole lot of English, uh, yet you get a degree in communications. But did you ever envisage a day like this in your career back then? Uh, I, no. I mean, it, this, there was no way to think of anything like this or envision a future like this, right? Uh, so no, it was never really a part of it, but it's, it's very exciting that now it is a possibility and a reality. Well, you've been the subject of rumors for uh, a long time now. What was it that finally made you make the leap? <laughs> God, yeah, it, uh, I've been hearing some things for a few years now. Yeah. Um, I think the innovation and, and the vision of Live Golf is what pushed me over to at least give it a chance and, and hear the pitch out. and. Uh, ultimately ended up being what uh, I guess I wanted to hear, right? Uh, I believe in the growth of the game of golf. Uh, I've largely spoken about how Sevi improved the game of golf in Spain, yeah. and I've always said how I would like to do the same thing over there. And if I can reach a bigger audience, it would be amazing. And uh, I do believe this process will help me do that. Was there one aspect of the Live Golf League that, you know, helped you across the line? You know, it's... Even though it's not part of this sport, um, it is now, though it was the team aspect of things, yeah. right? Some of the biggest sporting events, for the most part, people are following their teams. And I myself, growing up being a, a massive Athletic Bilbao fan, uh, I realized that, you know, that has a bit of an appeal, right? Much more than, than I gave it credit to even in golf. And uh, it's something that I'm passionate about and something that hopefully I can learn a lot about and, 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 and improve. When your sons are old enough to understand what's happening here, how do you explain this decision to them? <laughs> uh, I don't even know if they'll ever care, to be honest. As long as dad comes home and, and keeps buying them trucks to play with, I think yeah. they'll be happy. Uh, and, as, and so far, they only care that dad is dad, right? They really don't care what I do. They just want to see me be happy, and I want to see them be happy. But if I had to put it into words, I would tell them I essentially did what I thought was best for me, them, their mom and the future of her family. You know, speaking of kids, we're attracting uh, a younger audience, and it's uh, it's a global audience. How do you feel about that? Very happy. Uh, I'm very much looking forward to seeing some venues overseas. Yeah. It's it's one of the appeals, right? Again, and to see new places, new audiences, new crowds, new golf courses. It's all something that. Very few sports can facilitate, and golf can. So I'm really looking forward to that and uh, getting to experience some of uh, the very, very good highlights that I've seen online. Do you think people uh, underestimate the way the players are invested in the team concept? I believe so. Yeah, I don't think it's spoken about enough. I think yeah. uh, you have some of the best players in the world who are also now leaders of their own team, partners of the league in a, in a massive business that's global that is ever growing, right? So it's an aspect of the game that I myself looked over that now is uh, it's a reality and I can't wait to get into it and learn more and, and hopefully evolve my team and my brand. How much uh, did uh, the Mickelsons, Phil and Tim, uh, influence did they have on you uh, with this decision? And also, you know, you're represented by Steve Loy, mm -hmm. the same. There was no player that actively try to convince me to switch and, and take this step, right? Uh, they were always happy to answer my questions, whether it was Tim, whether it was Phil, whether it was uh, Sergio, people I'm really close with, uh, a Pat Perez who plays golf at Silver Leaf with me very often. Yeah. I never had anybody actively pitch me changing my career path, uh, but everybody was very willing to answer the questions that I had. I'm a curious guy and wanted to learn about it and you know, slowly, the love um, started to grow. Does it feel like a change in your career path or just a, a part of the evolution? Honestly, I've, I've made changes in my life uh, that maybe now seem small, but at the time were big, right? I went from an old Basque high school to Madrid to a golf academy, all Spanish, which it might seem small, but it's still a different language. And, uh, and I left my home, right? Yeah. So I was 15 at the time, that was a big change. Then going to Arizona State with never been in the US, didn't know what College Golf was all about, had no idea really where I was going or what I was doing in limited English. So this almost seems like just 
another one of those steps uh, in which I've grown so much and have improved my game so much. So as far as I'm concerned, I just want to be the best golfer I can be. And uh, this is a good platform for it. Did you ask advice from any other live players other than Sergio and Phil? No, not really. Uh, no, there's, there's one player whose caddy was my college teammate, which is Pooch. His caddy, Alberto, is, was a college teammate, a roommate of mine for almost four years. So obviously I ask him the same questions, and I'm curious to see how the caddies get treated as well and how other yeah. players that maybe are not captains get treated. But um, I never secretly act, uh, you know, seek for advice. Uh, but they were, again, they were always very happy to answer the questions. Well, the rumors started weeks ago, I guess, you know, but w what is the uh, reaction you've received to the, the people that you have let know what you're doing? It's, it's been a very close circle of people that have actively let know what, what was going on. Uh, and even the people that heard the rumors that wanted to give me their opinion, uh, it's, it's all been extremely positive. Um, I'm very lucky to have the friends and family that I have, and they just want to see me happy. So that's always the answer that I got. Whatever makes me happy, and a lot of them supported the, the possible career path. Well, players at the very top of the game, like yourself, you know, have commercial attachments, have sponsorships, that kind of thing. Are any of yours you know, ready to make this leap with you? Yeah, this is, uh, this is important. I mean, my sponsors, I, I choose them carefully, and luckily they've, they've chosen me back. Yeah. Uh, and I want to have a connection with the sponsors that I have to be able to represent them the best I can. And uh, I can say, as of right now, that after meeting with, with, uh, with Callaway and some of their uh, executives, they do want to continue this partnership with my transition to Live Golf. So, so yeah, I'm excited to be able to announce that. What have you learned about yourself throughout this, this whole process? <laughs> How much time do we have to answer that question? <laughs> um, I think the number one thing I learned is that I love the game of golf and I'm on the side of golf, right? When I ever go on discussion, I want golf to succeed. And the second that at the end of the day, a man's gonna make a decision which is best for him and his family, right? It's that simple, which is what this boiled down to. What do you think the biggest adjustment is gonna be for you? I don't know. Um, do you feel like you're stepping into the unknown to a certain extent? A little bit. It, it's a different environment, right? Like it is I, a different environment. I play golf at home with music on. I've never played a tournament with music on. So I think it's going to be an adjustment period. Uh, but it's an exciting adjustment, right? Like I'm looking forward to it. It's something different. It's something that is on the PGA Tour in some events has been talked about before. So uh, just looking forward to actually seeing it in action. We're looking forward to seeing you in action too. Congratulations. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for joining me here. Thank you.